Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Monkey here. Man, I just got back from the ski resort. Man, I just got back from the freaking ski resort. It was epic, powderifically good day. They had two feet of snow last night. I mean, no, two feet of snow two days ago and a day ago they had two feet of snow. And last night they had a foot of snow and it was just powder terrific, man. It was just powder crazy. Um, I was just in the shower. Sorry about my hair all mess. I was just in the shower. And I had to shave, you know, I had to shave away my toxic masculinity. I had to shave away my toxic masculinity in the shower, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me just put these skis down so I can talk to you on the vlog right now, all right? I just had a little drink, too, in the day of skiing. The day of skiing was just mega epic, you know what I'm saying? It was just mega epic. But let me just talk about the issues. We'll talk about the yuppie, metrosexual. <laughs> Democrat socialist lifestyle, all right? You get your college degree, you find out it's worthless. So you go get a second college degree. You go 50, 100,000 in college loan debt. And then you get your job offer in San Fran Is that is that what they call it? Is it called San Francisco or is it called San Fran? What is called San Fran? Hope you locals aren't offended by me calling it San Fran, all right? So you get your job offer in San Fran for 150000 a year. 150000 a year. You think you're the big man now? You think you're the big metrosexual? You think you're the big metrosexual big man now making 150000 a year? Not so, not so fast, mister. Not so fast. Because you got to get a house. And the house is like $1.5 million. $1.5 million for entry level houses. You go the commie condo route. Get yourself a two-bedroom commie condo in the San Francisco Bay Area, that leftist area where 90% of the people vote for the Democrat Socialist Party. And you probably will, too. And you, too, probably will vote that way if 90% of the people vote that way. You know, 90% of the people that go there, they vote for the Democrat Socialist Party. <laughs> Just saying. All right. So you, you can get a 1.5 million entry-level track home in the Silicon Valley. Or you can get yourself an 800,000 two-bedroom Kiami Kiami condo around San Fran, San Fran, San Fran, is that, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> you know, the city where the homeless people piss and shit all over the streets and they leave their drug needles all over the place. All right, and then you got, you, you got relationship. <laughs> relationship in a city like San Francisco is pure hell. All right, it's pure hell. First, you're gonna enter the dating scene. I imagine you're a straight guy, so you're gonna date a woman. <laughs> A lot of single women in San Francisco, they're kind of like a little too big, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to get a real big woman that's weighing like 250, 300. You know why? Because she'll roll over you in bed, bro. She'll break your legs, she'll break your ribs. And if that happens, then how the fuck are you going to go skiing the next day? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How the hell are you going to go skiing? So you got to get yourself a skinny woman, right? You got to get yourself a skinny woman that wears size small Victoria's Secret panties. And the thing is, in the freaking Bay Area, women like that, either they're either married or they're like um, like mega gold diggers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? San Francisco is such a shithole, man. That city's a fucking shithole. It's a left-wing socialist shithole. But anyway, but anyway, um, I'm lucky because I'm married and I'm gay and my husband, he weighs 110 pounds. So I'm very, very lucky. I'm very lucky, you know what I'm saying? I'm very, very lucky. So, if you do get married with that woman, hopefully she'll stay skinny, you know, hopefully she'll stay skinny and sexy, you know what I'm saying? And then you're going to have two kids with that woman, right? And then you're going to pay 20000 in child care because no woman in a liberal leftist socialist place is going to, you know, be a stay-at-home housewife, right? <laughs> That's very unusual in those liberal leftist socialist cities, you know what I'm saying? So odds are your wife's going to want to work and throw away the toddler and throw away the baby in some daycare center where they're probably being raised by a bunch of commie liberals, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna cost you, bro, that's gonna set you back 20,000 a year for that child care. The house, that's gonna be a mortgage payment of 8,000. If you get rent for like a one bedroom apartment in San Fran, that's like far, 4,000 a month, 4,000 a month. Man, you are going to be paying and paying and paying, and don't forget those California taxes. Don't forget all the taxes you're going to pay, bro. You're going to be paying so many freaking taxes. Why you don't vote libertarian or conservative or nationalist? It's beyond me, bro. I don't know why 90% of you people vote for the Democrat Socialist Party to raise your taxes even higher. I don't understand it, man. I don't understand it at all. But if you're single, you know, if you're single, then you can just grow old, lonely, and miserable. 
You know what I'm saying? That, that's an option for you. If you're a woman and you're single, I was reading on the internet a lot of these single women, you know? <laughs> they're like 40, 50 years old, they're still single in these cities like New York and San Francisco and LA. And you know what they're doing? They're, they're paying a total stranger to come give them a cuddle and a hug for like 80 bucks for one hour. There's no sex involved, it's just this guy will go there and he's like a professional cuddler and he gets paid 80 bucks by this woman, this desperate, lonely woman that's like 40, 50 years old in these big mega cities like San Francisco and New York. And she would then pay that guy like 80 bucks for an hour just to cuddle her and hug her because she's so lonely and miserable. That, that's pathetic and that's sad at the same time. That is just pathetic and sad at the same time. But like I said, you enjoy your yuppie life. You enjoy working 70 hours a week at a techie company. You enjoy um, skipping all your vacations, working 70 hours a week. It's being stuck in traffic jams all the time. I mean, I actually did the math, folks. <laughs> if I moved to San Francisco and had the lifestyle I have here in Utah, you know how much money it would cost me per year? <laughs> you know what the salary I would need to make? Well, I, I actually did the math, folks. <laughs> 200000 wouldn't be enough. 200000 would not be enough money. Okay, that's the truth. 200000 is not enough money. But don't y'all worry. Don't y'all worry. Crazy Monkey is gonna has to wrap this up. I have to wrap this vlog up. I'm almost up to the limit. All right, like I said, the Crazy Monkey life is about paying a mortgage payment of $800 a month on a single family brick house. It's about skiing or hiking twice a week. If you figure that skiing or hiking is like a $200 value per week, that's like an $800 mortgage payment right there. Just say, just say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then we take several vacations, me and my husband, we take several vacations. In fact, he gives me like two, three hundred a month from the mortgage. I just put that money in the bank. We get enough money saved up. We can go to Hawaii this springtime, you know what I'm saying? We go to Hawaii this springtime. Just let, just let you all know about that. And we do all this on a family income of less than 50000 a year. Just, just want to let you know about that. Just, just want to let you know about that. You, you, you enjoy your, you know, your 200000 techie job, your liberal leftist city like San Francisco, you know, your traffic jams. 8,000 mortgage payment. Yeah, enjoy that life. <laughs>